probably could. It speaks to like how good he is. It would be like I feel like it would be difficult for him to win a bracket like that, um, especially if like the characters get eliminated or by game as opposed to by set. But I feel like he could get really damn close if not do it. So. I mean, I feel like you can just get by the lower rounds on like your Doctor Mario's and your. That's true. That's true. Um, but no low rounds here. We are bringing you now grand finals here with the uh, Nuggets and winners playing the Daisy. And Mateus coming off a sharp win. Actually, both these guys coming off yeah, sharp wins. Yeah, both of them just beat sharp and they're here. <laughs> um, in losers here with the Captain Falcon. Ooh. Oh, wow. Soft knee. Yeah, that's something that Mateus has been doing a lot more of after uh, kind of the time skip, right? Is he's been doing a lot more soft knees, knee confirms. Or not confirms, but like... Mix-ups. No, it's not. It's like a fake confirm. Yeah. Like, because it's real, because you can't do anything, but it's just not a true combo. Like, in theory, um, you could air dodge all the way out there, but you're not gonna. Yeah, exactly. Like, you're, you're not going to, because then how are you going to make it back? You're fighting Falcon. Um, but yeah, like, stuff like soft knee into the up air, or soft knee into the nair, stuff like that, just to get guaranteed, or functionally guaranteed damage, uh, or edge guards um, against characters that have kind of a linear, uh, linear recovery, right? <laughs> Nuggets so. is like, I want to kill you, too. <laughs> That's, back here. that's definitely some nice stuff that we're seeing from Falcon. Also, I feel like Falcon, honestly, is one of the characters who would do better than most uh, in the Peach matchup, right? Just because he's able to compete kind of with her mobility, uh, with the addition of extra speed as well, and then actually has boxing tools that can, um, that can like, fight hers, right? Which is a rarity uh, among a lot of characters. Yep, Peach is a pretty good character. Yeah, does get his uh, upbeat clipped, though, and is going to lose that stock. There, there we see the, the mix-up on the jab. Yep, jab one sure. into upbeat. And the thing is, like, um, you know, you can't, uh, you can't just, as, as Nuggets, you can't just say, okay, well, I'm just going to narrow out a shield here. Because if you do that, um, you know, there's a good chance you get stuffed out, uh, you know, by the second jab, right? So it just creates a timing mix-up that, as the defender, you have to respect all the time. And if you hesitate just a second too long, you get upbeat. One minute so, and 36 seconds. That was a tough route. But, yeah, no, the game is going 35. to be yeah, 35. Excuse the hell 35 out of you, and Doug. some change, <laughs> I guess, because the timer said uh, 524. Yeah. I guess it still runs after it, hits, it says game. No, it's just it doesn't count up until it gets to the next full second. Like, the, so, it, so the ending is, count doesn't count up. So it's 135 and some change. Yeah, so even if it's, like, 135.98, it'll still be 135. So yeah, I learned. That's pretty neat. Yeah, it does not round. It truncates <laughs> all the time. Um, yeah, that is going to be go well, game one here. Going to Mateus, which is, uh, you know, a pretty, pretty big statement, as uh, Nuggets is also, I would say, a uh, pretty, pretty good lot for top five in New England at the moment. And also, like, just bracket-wise, like, Nuggets is many, many seeds above uh, Mateus. I think Mateus is, like, five or six. Yeah. And then Nuggets is definitely um, two or <laughs> two, right? Two, yeah. Yeah. Because Sharp would be one. Yeah. So. Sharp would be one, and uh, Ubi, Mars, Ubi like we was said, third. was not here. Yeah. So. I think Ubi was third, and then, um, who was fourth? Yeah, who knows? <laughs> gaming the, the, the start of this game is like going the same as it did the first yeah no game, the exact same thing is not what you want to see if you're a nuggets fan right now uh, at all not what you want to see if you're a nuggets fan not what you want to see if you're nuggets himself uh definitely coming in here uh two grands you know what they said advantage has one set to lose if he needs to Ouch. but you still don't want to right definitely uh coming into grands winner side is an advantage but if you can avoid using it uh that would still be preferable Mateus is super good at two framing with uh, Falcon's oh upbeat. Uh, <laughs> apparently, uh, according to Mr. Beat, he has. Oof, you do not want to be not teching those. Yeah, that Perhaps, is tough. Actually, that was at 125. That might have actually not been techable. No, it was techable. It was oh, it was a blue tech. That sometimes doesn't like actually display it correctly. But. Oh L. I mean, I know Falcon's uh, upbeat doesn't like untechable until relatively oh late. Oh my gosh. Given how strong it is, but. What is not techable is going to be that up tilt, as uh, there was no ground. So we're just going to go directly into that blast zone, going down one stock to three here in game number two. Perhaps Nuggets is throwing for the storyline. I would say no, but it, it's Nuggets. Like, it <laughs> might be. like it's, it's Nuggets. It's a possibility. There is a possibility. Yeah. Although, uh, Mateus is just so good, I feel like. Mateus is so damn good at this game, dude. And he's only gotten better being in Tri-State for the last little bit. Definitely, uh, that is one of the few regions that I would say actually gives you, like, better grinding uh, availability it than New England does, right? Oh, yeah. Perhaps so. you knew one of his uh, grind partners. <laughs> <laughs> you, you might know him. He goes by the name of Tweak. I don't know. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, you know. 
He's pretty good. I don't know. I don't know. Not not that popular. You might not have heard of him. Yeah. But it's kind of it's kind of a hidden boss. <laughs> but uh, what is not hidden is the deficit that yeah, Nuggets what has is to not overcome. Hidden definitely is this lead here from Mateus for sure for sure. Um, as and, you know as, as as I feel like I say, um, every single time we see Nuggets set where he's down, you know Peach is not a great character at uh, forcing things to happen, right? And Falcon is actually one of the better characters at kind of like stopping other people's approaches just because he's so good at whiff punishing like minute mistakes and minute yeah, he's, he's gonna run away like he's gonna run faster yeah. than you yeah exactly and also like if Mateus doesn't want to fight a situation like dude he can just run away like, like what's Nuggets gonna do catch him like no I gotta take a call I'm gonna be right back <laughs> yeah, he, he just, just runs to the other side of the stage yeah she's still running over here I know <laughs> yeah no she's, she's on her way I don't have to deal with that yet like give me a minute Good nice roll. roll there, yeah. No hesitation here from uh, Nuggets. Gonna get back to the stage though, and he's not gonna be able to make it happen. Dang, that's 2 0. Yeah, like gonna go down 2 0. Relatively quickly, too. Neither of those games were particularly slow. Um, Stocks were flying, and it was mostly just Nuggets stuff. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Which is weird, right? Because I, like, uh, I feel like Peach is one of those characters who's like pretty good at slowing down games when she wants to. Um, just because a lot of people don't want to approach her raw, right? Yeah. Um, even if you are a character like Falcon, you know you kind of have to be uh, a little bit methodical in your approach a lot of the time, uh, just to avoid be getting blown up on like a whiff punch or a counter attack, right? So, the fact that, uh, that these games have been going so fast is uh, definitely a statement to Mateus' abilities here. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> that's that's real tough. Although I'm sure Mateus would have no problem with it. Just all that space. <laughs> you think I could camp you before? <laughs> like, just imagine. Just leave. There's no limit to what I can do. Um, so, I feel like what Mateus was doing first couple games was kind of like creating this like area mm -hmm. that, like, so you know how Nuggets likes to like exist and move a lot. Yeah. In a small area. I feel like Mateus was like using uh, Falcon's like long-lasting aerials. To, like, make that area smaller. And, yes. like, make Nuggets move less. Yeah, Falcon actually does have really big hitboxes and decent disjoints on a lot of his moves. And that is one of the, uh, you know, one of the traits that definitely is going to make you, um, make you a little bit stronger of a pick against Peach, right? I feel like that's something that a lot of people don't talk about about Falcon very much either. Is, like, his ability to wall you out, especially stubby characters like the Mario characters, is, like, surprisingly good uh, for what's, like, advertised about this him. This is an incredibly good combo. 54%. Yeah, 54% and still on the ledge, but gets out with the down tilt. What do we get off it? Uh, equaling, pr uh, near equaling percent. Oh, almost, getting, almost. Yeah. Just, you know, I feel like Nuggets needs these long combos if yep, he wants sure. to keep up. Because, uh, neutral is not really looking too great. Yeah, neutral's not looking too great for him. And, you know, like I said earlier, I feel like neutral in this matchup is not something that, um, Peach is going to have a great time with in general, right? So, you know, in the words of, uh, of someone we know, you know, trying to bypass neutral as much as possible might be your play here. TBH, TBH. Yeah, really nice, yeah, really nice dipping low there to uh, just avoid that edge guard entirely. Doesn't even have to play a mix up, just isn't there. It's so hard to catch Falcon <laughs> on that up B. You yeah, know, his air mobility, like, is literally just better than it is when off his normal jumps. Um, when he is falling in free fall from that up B. Like, on the top part of it. Yeah. It's, it's comparable to Wario's air mobility, um, as opposed to Falcon's normal air mobility, which, while good, is uh, nowhere near that good. Now we have so. Nuggets' first lead this set. Yeah, of the entire set. And, uh, you know, we're in game number three here. So it's been, it's been a minute. For sure, for sure. You know, I don't, I don't like when uh, <laughs> I have my, like, down throw and it always makes people uh like if you tech on the platform it always gets rid of all the combos which we just saw there with uh nuggets that doing this down throw yeah you do but it also opens up a lot of other opportunities right because you can do th something like um you know like an up air uh, which is a nice lasting hitbox to cover you know multiple tech options at once um and you can do it falling because you have to wait for them to tech yeah exactly and you can also do something like just like float up onto the platform and then just run around and try to grab them again uh, but nuggets second time in a row just like not reading that he has to tech yeah just not um not not picking these up uh, when the platform forces him to drop them, so that is definitely tough. Oh, another up air! Wow, I thought that actually could have been like more uh, since he landed on that plat. But I think he was waiting for an option there. That's fair. That's fair.
Nice high float here from uh, from Nuggets to get back to the stage. We're back to even here. Although it never really was far from even. Yeah, I mean, I feel like leads in this matchup don't mean a whole hell of a lot. Uh, just in terms of, like, who's winning. Right. right? Just because they can evaporate on either side very quickly. And I feel like that's not actually the case for a lot of... Um, a lot of Peach matchups, but Falcon just gets blown up so hard in disadvantage that I feel like it still still applies. Yeah, and then I feel like it's true for a lot of Falcon matchups. Yeah. Because, again, like, if you're up against Peach, that's normally a very, very good thing. Um, but, you know, if you're a character with no projectile like uh, like Falcon, and a bad enough disadvantage like Whoa. that, <laughs> that definitely, uh, definitely can be kind of tough. He started sure. that uh, edge guard sequence from Mateus being at 32%. Yeah. You know, that's um that's what I'm talking about. Like if you're in the lead, you know, if you get caught in that situation, lead doesn't matter, you know, you're dead. Nuggets was like, so. Yeah, stinks, buddy. <laughs> Look <laughs> yeah, what yeah. you did to me game one and two. You, you saw him off stage, he was like, That's real tough. You think I'm gonna <laughs> give you mercy? <laughs> that's uh, that's real tough, Falcon. Yeah, no. Float near near the ledge is a very or uh, float down air as well is a very, very good tool, uh, to just kinda stop any hitbox without uh, you know, a hitbox or any uh, recovery without a hitbox, uh, and specifically like a disjointed one. Um directly above you, right, from getting back to the ledge. I'm surprised Mateus didn't, like, go, like, further away and try and grab Nuggets, but maybe maybe it was just a little panic in the situation. That's possible. That's possible. There's also the fact that, like, if you do go farther away, um, just because uh, Nuggets is kind of the one defending the stage, like, you do have to respect the possibility of, like, a float forward air as well in that situation. Um, so there's no, like, super correct option to go yeah. forward there as Falcon. You just kind of got to, like, Play the hand you're dealt. And, so I, uh, I like this counterpick from uh, Mateus. Yeah, no, this is a neat counterpick for sure. Very strong Falcon stage, small blast zones, lots of platforms. Everything Falcon likes, really. Nice anti air here. And you got your beloved walls. Oh, yeah, and walls. Forgot about that. So that situation that happened last time on Battlefield can <laughs> happen. <laughs> Cannot happen. He will be making it back for sure. Oh, nice mix ups here. Not bad. Surprised he didn't go for like uh, the reverse up B right there to uh, potentially defend the stage a little bit I harder. I was thinking he might, but um. Because like he was gonna make it back to the stage anyway. He just dripped back if it didn't hit. Nice scar jump here. Okay, but tips. No, I I agree with that because I feel like if I'm. I get it. I mean, it, it's free, right? Like it's not like uh, Daisy can punish you for it, right? So. Yep, you're, you're moving away. Go off, King. If you, if you keep applying that pressure, eventually. Either Nuggets is like, oh, you're not going to do it again, yep. or, you know, you just have to expend those resources off stage, and then edge guarding her becomes a lot easier. This is true. This is true. Oh, Tipman into the up air, or into the dash attack, rather. I think he might have been able to get an air one there. Maybe. Would have been tight. Oh, tries to actually spike him there with the Raptor boost. Going to still make it back. Oh, really nice recovery mix up there with the uh, wall jumps. Not bad. Just goes, re-grabs the ledge. Looking like a melee falcon, honestly. Yeah, honestly, dude. Yeah, but no, no double air dodge. Like, yeah, we don't, we don't do that. We, uh, we do not pick, you know, aggressive options back at the stage against Nuggets. He, uh, he will float back and he will back air again. So, that definitely is kind of tough. Well, like the mix-up <laughs> worked the first time, and then he just did it again, but this time approaching on stage. Yeah, that's that's always going to be a tough situation, you know. Oh, Ooh, air dodge is away. I like that. I like that mix-up. Oh, actually crosses him up there. I feel like that was an ambiguous enough cross up that he could have just gone for a raw grab, honestly. Perhaps. I think um, so. Because everything's a tick throw setup if you're brave enough, you know? Agreed. Oh, that would have been a good punish, but doesn't shield the second hit to dash tag. For sure, for sure. I actually like that knee from Mateus right there, just because um, he did it at roll, like a roll distance in. So as a result, like he wasn't going to give up his stage presence, or like not very much of it. Um, and it was going to be safe if he whiffed, and then it was going to kill him if he did roll in. So, that's pretty neat. Pretty neat uh, pressure with that knee there. Oh. That was a, there one. That was a great, uh, like, aggressive, like, get off me. Yeah, for sure. Can I call him out for jumping here. As he's going to get called out for a jump of his own. Might not make it back here. No uh -oh. jump. Yeah, that's tough. That's real tough. Yeah, it might have been better to just, like, utilize the wall before him. Possibly, possibly. But, that is time save. Oh. Oh, that was good. Good DI. Oh, nice. oh, I thought that could have been like a potential frame trap after that air dodge, but going to be able to make it back to the ledge is Mateus. 
Still got a pretty sizable deficit here on this uh, on the second stock, though. So yeah, he needs to. Uh, he needs to step it up just a little bit if he's gonna uh, take this game. Yeah, he needs to shave off this stock immediately. And just he like does. that. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Sixty-two percent is nothing for Falcon. Just kind of. Yeah, for sure. This is like combo. You know, this, some is a, players. Yeah, this is a grab, a stomp, you know, anything like that, but. You know, you do have the uh, disadvantage that you kind of do have to, at this point, approach Peach, which is not ever a fun situation to be in, especially on a stage this small, right, where Peach's stuff can kill so early. And, like, her burst, like, her burst range is technically larger by, like, comparison. Like, she... Yes, she does have daisy power. <laughs> oh, no, not that. I'm saying, like, her, her moves are, like, cover more of the stage because the stage oh, is a yeah, smaller yeah. entity. Oh, you mean relative to her self on other stages. Yeah, yeah. I see, I see. But while we're, while we're chepping, um, Nuggets is actually going to take that game, like we were talking about, and bring us to a game five here. Uh, went down two initially, but has clawed it back to even. So let's see uh, if he can take down uh, Mateus in this fifth game of the set, or whether we're going to a reset. Going to be here for a little bit longer. Uh, these, these two actually like stick to their uh, alternate skins. Like, pretty well. So, if you see that <laughs> Daisy skin, you see that Captain Falcon skin, those are... I mean, this is just default Falcon. No, it's not. It's not? This is like 5 or something. Huh. I mean, I'm colorblind, so... Oh. T-I-L. <laughs> yeah, this is like... Um, the only very slightly, but This like is the more, like, yeah. orange one. Huh. The, uh... The blue is like a more pale blue. Yeah. And the, the boots are like a more yellow for some reason. I see, I see. It's, it's, based, it's based on something in the Falcon lore, but I have no idea what <laughs> The F-Zero universe. Yeah. Yeah, they're all based on something. Like, the one that uh, Sharp was playing earlier is Blood Falcon, right? That's the fatality skin. Um, but they're, they're all based on, on racers from uh, F-Zero. So. Which is neat. Maybe we can get an F-Zero game. Yeah, no, literally Falcon skins are more F-Zero lore than has been released in the last 15 years. Yup. Which is insane. Um, but as... <laughs> We're talking about some Falcon lore. Uh, Mateus actually gets a pretty sizable lead here. Yeah, it's decent. It's not bad, for sure. Which could mean a reset. Could mean, could mean, could mean, for sure. Um, Falcon definitely, you know, both of these characters are capable of snowballing their leads pretty easily, so. Oh, wow. <laughs> both would, these players as well are really good. Would that have hit him again on the way down? No, it would not. Okay. Have. There are very few items to do that. One of the only ones is, like, K, K Roll Crown. Right, okay. I was going to say, that would that would be really unfortunate. <laughs> that would be hilarious, but uh, like, no. Like, ah, I guess I don't get to recover L. <laughs> like, nice jump just in case he fucking kicks. And another nice anti-air here uh, with the back air. Good stuff, good stuff. Mateus is definitely a player who kind of favors full hopping out of shield, which is a very good option uh, in the corner. Um, but definitely a lot of characters can take advantage of it. Was that four nares or was that three? That was three nares. Okay. That was down to the three nares. Peach Nair does a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah. It does It does much. It does much. Oh. Right. Uh, that was a really nice recovery mix-up from Nuggets as well, because I definitely thought he was going low, and uh, then he just canceled the float and uh, side beat to the ledge. So that was pretty neat. So I, I, I definitely let him back if I'm, if I'm Mateus right there. Nuggets is doing a good amount of whiff punishing here, which is really hard to do against Falcon. It's hard. Yeah, for sure. Know, he's usually able to exist wherever he wants. You know, both of these characters kind of have the ability to go mostly wherever they want. Um, so we're punishing them is pretty difficult a lot of the time. Uh, that said, you know, both of them are very good at whiff punishing in their own right. So two of the characters who are best at whiff punishing, uh, these characters are going to be each other. So. Oh, I, was I was actually just about to say, uh, Mateus should probably, like, go for some, like, platform camping. <laughs> just, like, mix up the y, cor the y cornet so much that, like, Peach can't, like, get you when you're that high. It's true. Peach definitely does not have great options against platform camping, and I feel like that's an underrated uh, kind of, like, counterplay play strategy to a lot of characters, like Peach, Diddy. A lot of these Jigglypuff. guys... Jigglypuff. yeah. Even Wolf in some oh. matchups. Oh, wow. Three up airs into the knee. Going to take this first set for Mateus. We are going to a reset here. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, no, I definitely feel like platform camping is not something that's utilized against a lot of characters. Um you know, well enough, right? Because Peach has a lot of mobility, right? She can change directions really quickly, but she's not very fast. So if you put yourself at some distance from her, like on a platform, 
Um, then you retain the ability to kind of drop through and pressure her for pulling turnips. But then also you put yourself in a situation where you can react to her trying to get to you. Just because her going up is not that fast. Exactly. So definitely would like to see some more platform camping uh, from Mateus in the second set. And uh, maybe he can win it uh, by even more, you know? Yeah, just understanding the character's jump heights is actually really important because uh, you'll just, like, a character with as low jumps as Peach and as, like, Puff, then uh, if you have high ones like Falcon or Falco, you could just go up and they cannot touch you. Um, Decent string here. Pretty much just going back and forth. But. Yep. Pretty even start to this, uh, the second set. Oh, nice drift back there to actually whiff punish the upper. That's some good stuff. I like the air dodge on stage. Yep, for sure. It was covered, but I feel like it was the best option. Yeah, it's a really, like, air dodging onto the stage, not as safe as it was in Brawl, for sure, but much safer than it was in Smash 4 in this game. Oh my gosh, the, the air dodge lag from Smash 4 was <laughs> 22 frames. Like Unless you, you're Mewtwo, then it was 20. But you, you literally might as well just, like, use your special move and get on stage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, Smash 4, definitely, a lot of the time, a lot of the reason, like, some people didn't like that game is because Advantage was so polarized, right? Like, yes. Um, like, if you're air dodging to the ground, um then you're in a lot of lag if you hit the ground too low, right? But then that means that, okay, I'll just go to the ledge, right? But then so many characters had obnoxious ledge trap setups in that game as well. That also wasn't a great option. Um, yeah. But yeah. But no Smash 4 on the screen. You know, we got a couple of former high tiers from Smash 4, um, which I'd say are both still high tiers in this game. Yeah, I, I think they're both so. still exactly about where they were. Yeah, I think Peach is a little better. Yes, um, Peach is definitely better. But like Falcon's like in the same spot. Which is After weird. all the buffs. It's, it's so weird because, like, if he ends up... It's weird to end up there again, even after all these changes, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Tries to make something happen with the Mr. Saturn here. Not going to get a whole lot out of it. Um, I feel like Saturn people, is still on the screen, People though. probably hype that up way more than they need to. What? Mr. Saturn. Yeah. Like, I mean, I, I feel like a lot of people just hype up all the unique turnips, you know? Like, just across the board. Ooh. <laughs> Actually does I make it bad. stand back. corrected. That was really nice. <laughs> You're like, I'm going to extend my hitbox, and there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, you, you have to get back to the stage. Like, eat this, bro. It, I feel like uh, Mr. Saturn being on the, screen, on the screen is like a WarioWare command where it's like, don't shield. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's actually, like, that's kind of a good... Um, that's like a good uh, analogy, for that? analogy for like a lot of turnips, honestly. I mean, is it uh, always just don't shield? No, because like, um, like Stitch is like, don't whiff. And then, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. And then Mr. Saturn's like, don't block. <laughs> like, bob -omb is just run. bob -omb's like, move. <laughs> Get out of there. Oh, I'm surprised that Nair hit. Wow. Very nice use of uh, the hitbox here from, uh, from Mateus. Yeah, see, and right there, um, so because of the conditioning from the earlier set, um, Nuggets was expecting, like, potentially a jab into an up B or jab into, like, uh, you know, just more pressure on, like, a roll-in or something. Yes. And Mateus was just like, nah, dude, screw, like, something like that. And then Mateus was like, nah, dude, screw that. I'm just going to finish the jab. And, uh, you know, frame-trapped uh, Nuggets there with uh, by him dropping shield. So, Which, that's, that's definitely something you see from very, like, high-level players is, like, yeah. a cross-set conditioning. Yeah, exactly. Gotta play the long game here. Gotta play the long game. Especially if you're playing a long set. Yeah, especially if we're playing a long set. You know, first set was game five. Uh, so potentially ten games here up to in uh, grand finals. Obviously, both of these guys would like to have it be less than that. But uh, well, we'll see. As Nuggets Ooh. does take the first game there. Let's see if he can keep it up. I feel like as Nuggets, uh, you don't have as much Falcon pra Like, really, really good Falcon practice. Um since Mateus was away, so I feel like there could be some, like, jogging his memory throughout this set. I mean, that's true. We, I mean, we don't really have another, like, high-level Falcon here in New England. Uh, do you know if there's any princesses uh, down in Tri-State? No, not that I know of. I see, I see. Um, isn't... Isn't Mute from Tri-State, or...? No, he's Florida. Oh, am I? <laughs> nope. <laughs> 
a little, little bit farther down. A little bit. That's all just down from here. Yeah, no, that's true. You're either you're either in uh, New England or you're in the South, honestly. Do you wish? <laughs> Everyone from Tri-State is just like Every Tri-State molding right now. Yeah, Tri-State actually like. molding, and you know, if, I don't know if you were here for uh, BSB, but uh, Miles. Oh my was, God. Was making fun of New England, so I guess we can uh, make fun of Tri-State a little bit. Yeah, just just a little bit, just a little bit. So, you know, Nuggets seems to be kind of continuing his dominant hold uh, on this set from game number one. Definitely not something you want to see if you're a Mateus fan. Uh, just came back, um, you know, from being in loser's bracket, right? Like, reset the bracket, put Nuggets in losers himself. And, uh, you know, you lost your first game in the second set. Down a pretty sizable amount in your second. That is not so, uh, a situation you want to find yourself oh, in. Oh, that might have hit if the downer didn't connect. Yeah, for sure. That is true. If there was not a hitbox, the person with the hitbox out would have won. I mean, like, the, the way they lined up. Oh, wow. Talking about, but, but, yeah, also up air killing there. Not something you usually see. Which not is something you see that often. That was very high altitude, um, for sure. Oh, wow. Narrowly avoids that. <sighs> that thing grabs from so far. Yeah, it is so big. It does get smaller on the way up, though, um, which is nice. Like, the initial hitbox from the ground is very big, and the one in the air is, like, a little bit smaller. I uh, clenched, I clenched there. Up. That was a uh, high intensity. Like, I Nuggets almost got, like, soft or Sweet spot need off stage. Yeah, that definitely would have been tough for sure. Uh, <laughs> tough as in dying at 50. That's tough. That's real tough. That is, that is That's real tough. tough. <laughs> um, but, you know, we haven't seen any shortage. Oh, wow. Tries to read a jump there. Doesn't matter. Ends up picking it back up with the stomp into the knee. And suddenly, uh, you know, Mateus got a little bit of a lead here. Falcon punch. Okay, no. Oh, no. I'm Don't, uh, don't do that. I was, I was repeating what the like crowd was saying. Oh, is that the crowd? Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I, li I, I like when memes like making the games official. I think that's funny. I mean, I would hardly call it. That's like his move. Yeah, but it's like iconic because it's, they're like more iconic, you know? Yeah, I mean, I feel like it would be iconic regardless. Which way? The way he's I like to see Mateus go for a jab lock. Right there, that could have been. That could happen. That could happen. Although, what is his like best jab lock? Like punish? Like what happens? Stop. What is he? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, just stomp into appropriate percent punish. Um, yeah, soft dash tech, uh, back air into the dash tech. Not bad. And the up Whoa! is actually going to catch him here. Oh, he, Immaculate DI from did, Trey, though. Not going to matter as he picks it back up with the Nair. Yeah, if you saw but, that, wow. like, in the, the like the little mini-map right there, yeah. he was in the was exact corner. All the like, way in yo. the corner, yeah. Like, yeah, you could not have gotten there from uh, that angle, I don't think, with just DI in. Definitely had to be a little bit up in there as well. So, good stuff here from Nuggets, as we're going to be going over to Small Battlefield for game number three. Small Battlefield. What do you think of that stage? I think it's neat. I um, I don't know, honestly, that I like it from, uh, from Nuggets' perspective that much, just because I feel like this kind of reminds me of... Um, this uh, reminds me a little bit of uh, Yoshi's, you know? And he did win on that stage, though. Uh, but, uh, like, from a matchup perspective, I'm not, I'm not... I don't know if I'm a big fan, I gotta say. Um, doesn't have the walls, but does have, you know, these small blast zones and uh, also the platforms in favorable positions for Falcon, so... Yeah, I, I, if it's Mateus' counterpick... Um, oh, no, this is Nugget's counterpick. This is Nugget's counterpick, yeah. Yeah, I'd say less platforms, the better. That said, though, uh, this does lack something important that both Yoshi's and uh, Battlefield have that we were talking about at the end of the last set, which is the top platform. And that means that Mateus is not going to be able to platform camp if that's something he wants to do. You know, it's a very good strategy against Peach, as we mentioned. Yeah. And uh, that's not going to be available to him, really. You, on you do kind of need that, like, height. Yeah. Not even necessarily so that you can be there all the time, but so that you can have multiple different heights to mix up uh, your position between. Yeah, because Peach can only really do one height yeah. at a time. Like, she can move to, like, adjacent heights very, very easily. But, like, if you have the ability to be at a height that is not adjacent to her, you know, then that's pretty neat. But here, there's only the ground and the platform. Yeah. Um, Less mix-ups. But there's definitely, you know, the platforms are still good for Mateus. Yeah, for sure, for sure. They're very good. They're very good still offensively, even if they're not as good defensively uh, on this stage. Not just keeps doing that. He keeps, like, the down throw will <laughs> put him on the, ta the platform, and he keeps, like, immediately doing an aerial instead of waiting for the tag. Yeah. 
We've heard this song quite a few times. This we have. Time. We have heard uh, Tata Heights like I think every time we've gone to the stage on stream. Interesting. I think that was supposed that was uh, supposed to be an IRR right there. Oh, okay. Yeah, not not gonna matter because he picks it up anyway with the uh, with an air on the spot dodge. But uh, oh wow. <laughs> I can like put his arm in that joint. Yeah. That's such good. Like, it it's really hard to deal with like Peach just down airing on your shield. Like, I feel like a lot of people want to try and like hit her afterwards. It, it's really not though. Like, it's not plus. You know, like you can spot dodge in the middle and punish it. You can uh, just roll away, like Nugget or like depends Mateus did right there. It does depend on the character. Yeah. Like I was gonna say, like um, not every character can just like go up there and hit her. Yeah. Like. Falcon in particular, like just because up B is really big, but only horizontally, he can't really spot dodge in the middle and punish it. Um, but he can still leap, you know. And right. Peach has kind of a hard time committing to uh, like she has a hard time if she's already floating, actually punishing roll away. Right? She can punish roll in very easily, um, but roll away like Mateus did there is like kind of difficult for uh, Peach to get to without a hard read. Yeah, you have to like already be going in that direction, which in that case you probably shouldn't roll that way. Yeah, and uh, if it's a hard and if it's a fast roll, then like even if you're going in that direction, you're not going to be able to get a good punish. So, but yeah, I feel like that's a thing that a lot of people don't like understand is like, mm -hmm. just like, if you are unsure of whether or not like you are out of shield will punish her, just you can leave. just leave. Just like leave. that's okay. A lot of people definitely look at that's a good point. A lot of people actually look at on shield interactions as like either I get to punish them or they get to pressure me, and they don't look at like there's a third option is just you stop the interaction, just go somewhere else. Yep. You know, and as long as you've got stage to do that with, like there's nothing wrong with that. You know, nobody's gonna fight you. In fact, they're not going to fight you. They're over there. Dash tag so. won't take it. I think I think a big thing that has to do with it is just, like, a lot of people, like, want to interact all the time. This is true. This is true. Um, and that's, like, that's not even, like, a, you know, like a smasher thing. Like, that's just, just everybody wants to interact, you know? Yeah, we want to play the game. It's a fighting game. People want to fight. And I can't blame them for that. But, uh... Part of fighting is not fighting. Wisdom from Doug. Yeah. Wisdom, wisdom <laughs> from Doug. Say something to that effect. Oh, that could have been it. Oh, that could have. Although the percent is a little bit awkward uh, for that. Definitely. Just because, uh, you and know, that was in between, like, short and full hop and E heights. And rage. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But uh, that's definitely anyone's game here uh, in this game number three. Could potentially see a stomp coming through from Mateus. Oh, what was that up B? <laughs> was that up B completely safe is what it was. Somehow. Uh, you got so many mix-ups on stages with platforms. Um... Because you've already got the left-right mix-up, and then you've also got the mix-up available of, like, do I fall through the platform or not, right? Oh, wow. Actually does hit him <laughs> with the, the, the Mateus I edge I, lo I love this, like, the freeze frame on that. And he's like, oh, I'm coming. Like, ah. like, I'm on my way. <laughs> and Mateus is going to go up to set point here on Nuggets. Um, came in from the loser side of things. Won the first set 3-2. Uh, and... Um, He's definitely in a position to win the second set as well. Would be a big resume boost for him, for sure, if he was able to pull this off. Yeah, Nuggets already has quite a few tournaments under his belt. Yep. But uh, Mateus, like, second or third tournament back, uh, this that would definitely send a message. Yeah, for sure. And he doesn't have a win yet um, since he's come back. So definitely would be neat. Would be neat of him to get this. That's a very well-spaced Raptor boost, man. Raptor boost is minus 12 on shield, so, like, a lot of characters can punish it. But it's also relatively big. So if you're far enough back, a lot of the time you're just out of luck. What do you mean well spaced? It stops itself. Anyway, um, <laughs> we, <laughs> don't worry about that. Uh, don't don't concern yourself with me. Um, <clears throat> what you need to concern yourself with is Mateus's massive lead here, and it's only getting larger uh, in this uh, fourth game here. Nice sixty percent. Yeah. See, like you just roll away a lot of the time. Don't want to roll in because people just react to that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just rolling away. If she's not already going in that direction, she won't be able to get a punish at all. And even if she is going in that direction, if your roll's really good, like Falcons, uh, at most she'll get like a soft nair or something, which is like fine. And that's much better than like, you know, jumping out of shield from the down air and like potentially getting hit with like a hard nair and then like more combos. So yep. don't do that. Ooh. See, like, it's, it's hard to tell when someone's like close to a two frame, but like, mm -hmm. Mateus is always close to them. He knows. <laughs> this is true. Recovering against Falcon in general is always so scary. Um, you never know when you're just going to get hit by the down air. Yeah, because, like, like, the down air, like, obviously can two-frame, right? But what it can also do, because it's so big, is just go beneath, uh, beneath the ledge and just hit you. Um, yeah. So it's a larger than two-frame window for you to actually get hit. So. It's definitely always spooky. Uh, if you're fighting against Falcon, you got to recover. 
It's similar to like a like a wolf, or wolf down smash, or like a yeah, exactly. Uh, or a pyro down. Pyro down air. Like anything that like actually goes below the ledge for at least one frame and also can two frame is uh, always gonna be always gonna be scary. Oh damn! Nice trade here is gonna put us back on even stocks. Still a lot of bleeding here from Nuggets though. I don't know about that F smash, bro. <laughs> 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 I don't know about that, bro. At zero too, I feel like it must have been a miss of then. Yeah, no, I feel like he definitely um, ended up on on that plat when he did not want to. Uh, yeah, definitely. Which is tough. Going for like a quarter or something. Yeah, exactly. Apparently Nuggets uses default controls. Yes, yes, Nuggets does use default controls. I don't know how he does all this with tap jump on. Like, I Apparently that's that. like so easier to do certain things. The, the thing that like gets me is, is Smash Stick. <laughs> is Smash Yeah, every down tilt is like a soft two and then, and then A. Exactly, that's like. where I'm like, dude, you're really pressing down A all the time? That's crazy. <laughs> Without oh. ever down smashing. Although oh. I feel like that's kind of useful because like you probably want up smash way more than you want up tilt. That's fair. That's fair. And that does let you do that out of run a little bit more easily and without a jump cancel. So. And as far as like uh, F tilt and F smash, it's not really that important because both of them aren't like particularly like safe. Or exactly. You're not gonna be using them that often. This is true. This is true. Oh, he used jump. He did not. Okay. Good reversal here with the uh, up B. This is this is pretty even, but Mateus is up. Mateus which is could up. be the end of the tournament here. For sure, for sure. Oh, is he gonna go for the? No, no, he's only got one stock. He won't. Oh, here it is. Oh, that's, but that's it. gonna be a wrap. Yeah, Nuggets is so confused. <laughs> that's because he did tech, didn't tech jump, and then it looked like he was out of his float as well as his double jump. That's unfortunate. Um, so I think he tried to float. There wasn't one, and, then, and then he just he died. Air dodge. Yeah. Yeah. So that is rough, but. Very nice for any Mateus fans, you know, sitting at home um, as he does take his first tournament back um, from Nuggets, winning two sets and uh, also beat Sharp. So very nice resume boost for him here tonight. Well done. For sure, uh, for sure. It's been a pleasure commentating. Yeah, absolutely. You know, this is great. This is actually uh, my first time at GU. You know, I'm normally more of a BSB guy. First uh, time myself. back? I feel like you've been last. That's true. That's true. Back, back in the day, I definitely commentated.